Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to Tech Miss Day 3. Yes. <laughs> This one is going to be not about a topic, but kind of about a topic, but it's essentially going to be an update as to kind of like what's been going on with my job, what's going to be happening in the next coming months, what my plans are, what's new that's happening. You know, pretty much it's just going to be all that. So anyways. <laughs> Also, in this video, I will be announcing the first giveaway for Tecmas. So I will be doing two, one this week and one next week. Uh, this giveaway is a big, big, huge thank you to Jermaine, and I would leave his social media handles somewhere up here. But he was kind enough to send something to me to give away to you guys. Um, yes, it is used, but just because it's used doesn't mean it don't work because it's still it still works, but anyways, I'm gonna go get it. So if you were a part of my first giveaway for the CCNA study bundle, it's pretty much he ended up having the same thing. So he sent me a the CCNA Understanding Cisco Network Technologies book. Get down. Mind your business. Um and and that great, oops, my bad. <laughs> and it's still in really, really good condition. Okay, just a few highlights here and there, but nothing. It's like you would get if you rented a textbook from like college or something. It's still really good, right? And it's free. I mean, can you just, it's free. It's free, y'all. <laughs> and the second thing he sent was the actual. CCNA study guide. He minus this with new one, 20301. So the official cert study guide is in here. Really great condition. This is still in good condition. My dog is, can you, what do you want? Just a few highlights throughout, but still very good. Very good condition. So this is the giveaway today. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see how you can enter. Woo -woo. If you have been a subscriber, then you have seen, and you have seen my past day in the lives. I spoke about how I've been by myself at work. The senior hasn't been here, um, and I've been under a lot of pressure. Well, he came back, and so yay for that. I'm not by myself anymore, um, but still gotta do a lot of work. The good thing about that is that being in, in that position where in that role where I was kind of working the seniors position and doing the things that he was doing and working on the projects that he was working on and kind of just being thrown into the fire for a lot of stuff that I did not know about. Um, it allowed me to grow as an engineer and get exposure to things that it probably would have taken me a while <laughs> to even understand but when you are just thrown in something you gonna figure it out <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened to me and i learned a lot and i'm super excited that i did get that opportunity but i ain't gonna lie i'm burnt out i'm burnt out <laughs> very very burnt out um but now that he's back we can get the ball rolling again and we have a lot going on next year a lot of projects a lot of work in kind of um, making uniform changes throughout re-engineering this whole network is gonna be kind of cool kind of fun kind of a pain I'm sure but I know I'm gonna get a lot of experience with it so coming up real soon with that also with work if for I've gotten a few comments talking about <laughs> can we get a video about you not being at home and working well I was hoping that that would be the case but that's not the case <laughs> uh, my company is now permanently working from home uh, closing down our main building just like a lot of businesses are saving money that way first she complains and cries because she's in here and now she complains and cries because she's out there she just don't want to be happy she just don't want to be happy anyways uh so no i am permanent work from home occasionally i will have to go into the office as far as like getting equipment and all this stuff because i just ain't i ain't got the room and i ain't gonna be housing all this equipment all the time that's just not gonna happen but yes permanent work from home so sorry I'm not happy about it, but whatever. Lisa got a job. <laughs> 
So the next update, I am moving. I'm moving next month. Super excited, moving into an, a house. Okay, a house, a house, okay. And with this house comes an office. I'm going to have my own office no more in my little corner of my room that you guys have been seeing I get an office and so I get to finally build up all my equipment all my lab get a rack in there because it takes I have enough space for a rack because here I don't have enough space so I didn't go pick one up because I just don't have the space but now I will have the space and I'm super excited I'm going to just completely do a whole office I already got an idea like how it's gonna happen and I'm just so excited get my own office yay and I got a whole bunch of new filming equipment that I haven't set up yet but I will when I move um, so here's to better quality videos coming they come in an update on my Palo Alto exam it has been scheduled and it was scheduled but I had to reschedule um, because work was so stressful and I had my college classes that I just finished not too long ago, you know, we're in winter break. All that stuff combined with my, I didn't have, I didn't have time. I didn't have time with school, work, life, kids, just everything. I just didn't have the time to sit there and study for a certification because it was not a priority. Um, I have one class I will be taking next semester because <laughs> it is a class that I failed before. Anybody else not like C++? I hate it, okay? Hate it. <laughs> I, this is my, my, uh, my, honestly, my last programming class. I've only had two. It's my last one and I barely passed the first one. Computing two. I failed bad and I had to retake it but uh, so I decided to not take any classes so I could just get that over with because that is a hurdle that I am struggling to jump over I don't I don't I don't understand a lot of C++ I don't get it I don't want to get it I don't want to understand I never want to see that language again okay like, ever so if you're a fan of C++, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> but speaking of school, uh, yes, if you guys didn't know, I am also a student on top of full-time worker on top of a whole bunch of other things. I am a student. I am in my final year of school, but I probably won't graduate this year because I'm not taking uh, such a full-time course load. So I will most likely graduate next year. And it is what it is. I've been in school for a long time because I just, Taking my time with it. I don't need it, so I'm just taking my time <laughs> with Cloud. Taking my time with school. As you know, I got my new position at this job a few months ago. So I'm still very new. I haven't even reached my year yet. How do I feel about it? Hmm. It is very high demand. Okay very high demand but I am learning so much and that's all anybody can ask for I am happy where I am and I'm glad that they offered me position and I'm glad I took this job because Lord knows where I was working at before I wanted to just you know that was not a job I would ever 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 in my life work for that company again maybe if i was an fte but i would never ever in my life work there again okay i'm not gonna name the company because it is a really really big company and there's just no need to do it but just know if you are a contractor working for this company yeah you're treated like you're not a a human being <laughs> they only care about their full-time employees due to previous lawsuits and, and 
if you know me if you know anything about what company i'm talking about then just keep it to yourself because i'm just not trying to go there and and just air out their dirty laundry and this is just my experience not just mine but other people that i know I never ever i was ready to leave literally the third week i started working there i said i'm done with this fight. <laughs> they lied about the job they lied about a lot of things and it was that's it that's all we just gonna say i ain't gonna mm -mm. Mm -mm. yeah no uh hey hi editing lace hair popping in i completely forgot to put this uh other update in this video but i got a p.o box you guys p.o box so i will put it here along with it's going to be down in the description box so you know whatever that's the update though so that's it for all my quick updates now for the giveaway information this is strictly a youtube giveaway for my youtube fam okay youtube fam this is strictly for you we're not doing instagram or anything um so the first thing is obviously you gotta be subscribed subscribe okay subscribe otherwise like why you you just coming in for free stuff and don't even want to support nobody giving you the free stuff like that's just courtesy subscribe if you are comfortable sharing it but it's also because i want to spread positivity and since this is something that helps people grow to answer to just one obviously subscribe gotta be a subscriber two tell me down in the comment section below tell me about a professional accomplishment or in a professional achievement that you have made throughout the year of 2020 just tell me tell me all about your professional achievement and how you succeeded okay it could be something as small as you did learn a new skill or it could be something as big as I signed up for school I graduated I got my degree I got a promotion I got paid I got a second job um, anything like that I got X certifications I did this to further my professional career doesn't matter what it was just tell me about it in the comment section and then I would do a live random drawing on YouTube it'll be live and then I'll just you know put everybody's name do the little randomizer thing and then I will announce the winner then again Cisco study guides Cisco study guides can't beat it stay tuned for next week's giveaway for Christmas week yeah that's it okay thank y'all so much have a good one